Father, the animals. I was hoping that this video would be on YouTube, but the first half won't be because it, it stops recording. Oh, and some of it is recorded and it's very blurred. So either a CIA man is renting the room upstairs <laughs> and he's sitting there at a remote control, <laughs> or he's grabbing his phone, grabbing his pad or something, or um, I'm just useless with technology. One of the two. So um. I won't go over everything again that I've spoken about. Um, I'm here to speak to you. I'm, I just want to express my gratitude to you just for being awake. And I always do it. Um, this summer, I, I don't normally talk about my personal life at all, but this summer I was a bit low. You get periods where you... And I stopped going on the internet for about a month and I just thought, I'll get my life together, I'll get some money, I'll get some land in France, I'll grow some food until the agenda 21 goons come for me, I'll live a normal, happy life. And grow some food and chickens and stuff and learn how to build fences. But um, I found that the more I didn't do any kind of activism or warning people or stuff, um, the more uh, worried I became. And it's, it's meeting people like yourselves, which is, this is the, for me, this is the reason I do it, to meet you. Because you, um, you're on your own, otherwise. And uh, my friend is wide awake, he's a percussionist, we play music together, but that's it. And, and my, my partner is wide awake, she's a yoga teacher, she's happy that the universe is going exactly as it is, and she's a good person, and hypnobirthing, and, and yoga, and she sends a lot of powerful energy out to people, so she's happy with that, but personally, you do feel on your own a bit. And uh, so I've got great support. And I urge anyone here that's um, questioning the, their partner's uh, view of the world, and they don't quite get it, and they're frustrated, don't push them, because you need, you're going to need them. And they're exactly where they need to be at the moment. And it's a kind of what Michael Sari calls it's a kind of psych a psychic assault if you just try and push them too much. So just be there for them and love them and be there for them and listen to them. Eventually they'll appreciate what you're doing, knowing you and being a good person. Um, they'll they'll come round and once they know the vaccines are, are deadly and we, you know I love you, my brother. I really don't want you to have that. Promise me you won't have it. And you, you, know, you do that. But um, don't, don't push people because you're going to need them. And I'm very happy to meet you and I'm very happy to, um, to be here today. So I want to suggest that you give yourselves a big round of applause. <laughs> now, I've got some wonderful things for sale from my sponsor. I'd like to, uh, sorry, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> just softening you up there for the car sale. Um, <clears throat> chemtrails and geoengineering. Chemtrails stroke geoengineering the New World Order agenda. And the disinformation, misinformation, I, I spell misinformation with a five. Uh, MI5 information. BBC has always been uh, a, a big globalist, socialist network. Nothing's changed since you had to be in Eton, you know, to get a job there, as Alan Watts says. Um, and here we are, here's the BBC, they'll accept pictures of big chemtrails from Iceland, you know, because they kick the government out, right? And they're a free country now. Uh, they're still getting sprayed, and now Iceland is apparently a rogue state, like North Korea, you yeah. know. So we're the bankers. Uh, the big pot and pan revolution is going well there. Fair play. Good, we've got a poet in for a while, that's good. But they're still being sprayed. And the BBC is complicit in the aerial assaults on the people of this planet. The world, their, their world service is not something I signed up to. They serve their masters. They serve their banker-owned, and their banker-owned whores, basically. So we get um, pieces like this. Nothing saying that this is normal. BBC, Alexander Robertson, uh, please contact me. I'd like a word. 
Um, it's probably one of our own agents or something putting stuff up like that. That's a feather, that's okay, that's normal. And you see this every day. Did anyone see the Wimbledon uh, promo? Yeah. Just absolutely rammed with chemtrail subliminals. I'm going to show you some stills from it in a minute. It's incredible how they're teaching people that this is normal. Is it GMO bananas? I mean, they don't eat GMO bananas. Does Andy Murray eat GMO bananas? I guess not. Is it bread for the purpose? Maybe. This is my favourite Illuminati whore, Tammy Souza from. Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy Susan says, uh, we're having a heat wave. It's lovely. Hey, you look very Hollywood there. We're having a heat wave. It's uh, nothing really to worry about. Here's some pictures of the heat wave in uh, December in New York, uh, Ch Chicago, sorry, the Windy City. We're having a, uh, yup, yup, talking head. Bullshit, talk to you like I'm a, like you're a child, that's our way we mentor or an MLP. And everything's normal. It's a heat wave, but don't worry about this cloud, because it'll probably clear you know, in a few hours. But one um, observant member of the public on YouTube made a video, and I took a still from it, of how the Chicago skyscape really looked that day. Mm. <laughs> Chemtrails, Chicago, Illinois, the 1st of the 5th of 2012. Well, it's, 20, it's 2013 now, we're still here. That's good. Another uh, Illuminati push, I think, to make people anxious because they're more controllable when they're anxious and in fear. 2012, woo, Mayan world ending. Chemtrails show geoengineering of our skies. <coughs> Cornwall. This is Hanover, Germany. Happening all over Europe. Nice big grids, tic-tac-toe. Um, that's an Americanism, but um, tic-tac-toe grids, noughts and crosses in the sky. And I'm, I'm not kidding here. Every thing I've shown you today. Do you remember Rima Leibau? Dr. Rima Leibau. She said, everything I'm telling you today is documented fact. And she went into depopulation and everything. Powerful woman, you know. Um, Could you say that again? That again Dr. Rima Leibau. L-A-I-B-O-W. Leibau. Leibau. Mm -hmm. Dr. Rima. R-I-M-A. She's great. Health Freedom, I think it is. She started a talk and it had an amazing effect on me. Everything I'm saying here is true and it's documented back and you can look it up and here it is, bang. Everything I've said tonight is documented back, apart from my own opinion, um, the documents are showing it, it's all real and I really want to get that across to people, it's real. We're not conspiracy theorists, we didn't invent that term. It makes me mad when people say that because I know they need to break through their program, they need to program to put those two words together. Conspiracy, yes. Two or more people surreptitiously working in an underhanded manner to create a result that would benefit them. Yes, conspiracy. That's that's fact that that word exists in the Oxford English Dictionary. And so does chemtrailer, by the way, now. That's interesting, isn't it? The theory, yes, yeah, just an idea. <coughs> and um, it's, it's oft quoted, and I do love it, so I'm going to say it myself. Mao said, the only sca oh, nothing scares me, so the only thing that scares me is that it's a good idea. Well, it's a good idea to put those two words together for the bankers. Conspiracy theory, you put that together, uh, excuse me, who's been there? Excuse me, sir, um, have you heard of chemtrails? Um, can I just use that leaflet with They're spraying toxic chemicals. I was in Dublin doing it. And, um, oh, well, yeah, that's one of them conspiracy theories, isn't it? Bang! In their mind, your whole, your whole argument, nothing you say after that, all they're thinking is, bang! Conspiracy theories. Two words, that's how powerful the English language is. I have a book here. 
It ain't by this, it ain't by accident. Um, no, I don't. <coughs> Francis Bacon wrote a book. I forget the name of the book, but it talks about in detail. Ah, oh, I'll put it on the website. On the YouTube channel. It talks about in detail how the English language throughout Europe was uh, designed in a certain way that it would be ultimate mind control that could be used. And conspiracy theory, bang, bosh, is something I avoid. It's dynamite. And they, it's worked very well until now. Because th things like this don't work anymore, so I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I'm not talking about the stuff. But I just want to ram home to people, and I don't mean that in a kind of Baphomet code <laughs> of way. I just want to ram home to people the fact that what you're doing is really important, it's really working, we're really um, kicking their ass in, in the disinformation. Nothing they say is working anymore, and they're panicking. So please keep it going. It really is making a difference. I can't stress that enough. I've been doing this four years now, just on chemtrails. Yeah, I've interviewed people on vaccines and mind control and GMO and smart meters and, uh, and everything. I don't concentrate as much on half as I can because I, I still know the public is in, is, is in shock. Shock and awe, you know? So one of the ways that information and war is fought, it is a war on humanity, and I, I mean that literally is you, you bombard your enemy from different angles and you pin them down so they're so confused they don't know where the fire is coming from with the information, right? Think of this as information. They don't know where the information is coming from and they shut down because it's too much. They, they're, they're hit in the trench, they're like, what the? You know, they've got no orders coming from the captains or wherever, the captains lost it, blah! You know, the teachers and the scientists in the university, they did all gaga and pay and drugs and prostitutes and blackmail and they're like, oh, well, shut up, shut down, they shut your students down and ask them questions. How many people, hands up, children, going to talk to you like a child? <laughs> How many people ask questions in school? I don't remember that being normal. I don't remember getting a slap in the face. I remember getting a pat on the head going, perhaps you should go to grammar. I'm like, what? Oh, it's grammar. No. no. It's, it's normal to ask questions, and now nobody asks questions. They're, they're, they're encouraged to shut down. The English language is designed that way, so we have to all learn Gaelic. Sorry. <laughs> or Cockney Rhyming slang, or something. Uh, we need a new language. We need to reclaim back the language. So conspiracy theory, Forget about it. I don't even say the word. Oh, I just made a pyramid. So <laughs> <laughs> My friend said to me once, how about if, if you're under mind control and, and, and you're doing all the stuff you're doing and you, and you, and you don't even know you are? You're a willing fool. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so it's important that you know what you're doing is important because the language is designed to, to undermine you. To all, but it, you can't fail, I'm telling you now, you can't fail with the chemtrail issue. Because what? What about that? Yeah? That's a bit old. Oh, you know, I can't breathe properly. I've got a metallic taste in my mouth. Uh, yeah, I, was like, I, used to get, I used to get a cold and it would last for a month. You know? We, two or three days we used to knock the cold out of our system. You can go to work for the cold. Now it's like, and then fatigue. I have to go to sleep in the afternoons. Me. And I'm trying to protect myself. So, the English language is designed. So, conspiracy theory. There's a, a Latin term for a plant. I forget the species name, but the genus is Bolax. B O L A X. So, I'm going to use that term. Conspiracy theory is, um, in type of terms, bolax. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so here we are, some more examples of chemtrail. The spraying is from the skies with toxic chemicals, biological weapons. There, 
is your weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction. What we know is what we don't know. But what we do know is unknown. There are known knowns and there are unknown knowns. But what we do know about the unknowns is known. And what we don't know about the things that are known is unknown. So we're spraying you from the sky, but we are not doing it yet. We are uh, considering doing it. We're holding moratoriums and the space-based weapons mustn't happen. Uh, but hit that button again. Let's just cover that bit of sky. You know, so it, it's, it's massive warfare and we're being hit from different angles with information. And the Russians admitted that 90% 90, 90 of their funds during the Cold War, hoax, by the way, 90% of their funds go into um, information warfare. 90%. So they may spend all this money on uh, supplying Saddam Hussein with the, the sarin gas and, and, and funding Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda in, 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 in Libya and, and all the countries across the, the what do they call them, the, uh, the revolutions, the, the, belt, um, the revolutions are going on in, in Africa and Libya and Syria and everything. They, they, they're able to fund them with hardcore weapons and, and heat-seeking missiles and everything, you know. But 90% of it is information, so that's why we, we're under attack. And I believe I may have, may have experienced some of these, uh, some pressure, you know. <laughs> uh, that's all I'm going to say. But, um, so it's information that's important. I'd also like to talk about, just briefly, but is information enough? Is it a holding, stalling tactic by the New World Order to encourage activists to come out and just peacefully talk about information? Meanwhile, we're going to just cut them down like the Grim Reaper with any means we can, vaccines, geoengineering. I don't know. That's an interesting idea. But uh, it's, it, it, it's worth being aware of that. So, as I said, we're on our own. We go to Suffolk County, Long Island, and we, we talk at length to our elected representatives in America, and concerned citizens are hurting because their lungs are collapsing, etc., or whatever. You know, there's one example here tonight of a chap's lung suffering, not collapsing, sorry, but suffering, and he's getting a gas mask, and, and, and it's common that doctors don't tell you anything about etc. I mean, what the hell kind of reality is this? Everything we talk, big lie, doctors paid off, drugs, ring bong, prostitute, blackmail, bing, euthanasia, infanticide, go to your local, but there are still people that need our help, that go to Suffolk County, Long Island representatives and can't understand why they're being so lax in helping them, because they can't help them, this is a black operation, it's above government, it's Operation Cloverly, or Hydra, or or whatever it's called, the government can't stop them. They're selected by the Royal Institute of International Affairs long before we've heard of them. And Council on Foreign Relations, various groups put the people in power. So we've never had a democracy. And uh, that's, oh, that's very debilitating for someone who's spoken with Labour all their life because my dad did. You know, so there's still people that need our help. And I wanted this to be a motivational talk. I don't know where I'm going, but out of desperation, I'm, I'm appealing to people here, and I'm very glad to, and have much gratitude for the work you're doing. It's a phenomenal amount of work that's been going on. I, I, didn't, I wasn't aware of this. So if I'm not aware of it, what's going wrong? You know, why isn't somebody contacting me saying, Pat, Cornwall's rocking, you know, get down there. But they did, eventually, so, it, you know, unless you're on the net, and there's so much, to be honest, there's so many people being active on the net now, it's hard to know, you know, where to, where to, who to join, you know, it's, it's, it's brilliant. So they get no help from Sussex County, like this, exasperation, Greenpeace, the whole shebang. Meanwhile, this is going on, you've got satellite images from Lake Geneva, Lake Liman, the Rhone Valley, just absolutely crammed. These are aged contrails, right? 
according to the Daily Mail. Agent Contrails. That's from space. I'm going to briefly talk about, oh, this is uh, the coast. You'll see here the Isle of Wight and France. And where I am, the, the, the chemtrail aircraft spray mainly north to south. Sometimes, most, a lot of the time they have a, a heyday and fly in different directions, but it, it, it's usually north to south. Um, what about here? Is it north to south here? South to north. To south to north, generally. Okay. So there we have a map of the aging contrails, you know. So this must be 200, well, maybe two, no, about 100 miles, that one. That's not a contrail boat, it's only good. actually 200, it spreads right across Wales there, I think. <coughs> so, France is on a massive attack. Chemtrails, chemtrails, chemtrails. You've got a sheet of chemtrail at the back and then these grids on top. Mm -hmm. Tons and tons and tons. <coughs> Excuse me. So, when Raphael Correa, I'm not encouraging anyone to be violent, but this man, when the president of a, 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 a sovereign country says, if these planes continue to spray over my country, and I am paraphrasing, but he did say, if these planes spray over my, keep spraying over my country, we will shoot them down. Yeah. So to me that was great. Like, don't, don't shoot them down, just find out where they are, don't allow them or something, but don't shoot them down. Because there might be commercial airlines or something, that's another thing. The, the, I'm warning people, they're gearing up with this Australian article to blame the, 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 the Pilots Association apparently are concerned in Australia that some lone nut will um, shoot down an aircraft, you know. And they're trying to make us into the bad guys already. And, and we're, we're, I guarantee they'll try and stop us talking about this stuff because we're, 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 we're turning, we're radicalizing nutters. You know, the lone nuts and all that, you know. So when he says that, to me, that's an indication that it's a serious issue for a sovereign government, even though it's a socialist. So, uh, again, uh, big green groups in Serbia are asking for GMOs to stop being GMO, uh, genetically modified organisms being very bad for the systems, uh, organs, liver failure, organ failure generally, brain damage, fatigue, cancers, he, he wants it stopped. And he talks about the chemtrails also, and he says he's calling for the army to help, to stop it. Not war, just, just get informed and stop it. Because it's over our heads, we can't, and we mustn't stay silent. House arrest, nobody knows what's happened in so far, I haven't heard anything else. Serbia's a bit hardcore, but there's major green groups. This is um, Northern Sky, I think I took this, I oh, know, 1998. This is when it began. Massively, it began in 98. And you can see the chemtrail fall out there, one going across. I'm going to try and speed up. Castle Point, Dorset. Big chemtrail sky. One, two, three, four, five, six. And whatever made that as a background. Chemtrails 911. That's a picture of the twin towers. It's a bit compressed. I think they're taller than that, obviously. But it's a bit compressed. The photograph. They're spraying New York. One there. Another big one there. Spread out. And I've seen some excellent leaflets there. Rockefeller donated this land for 911. 9-11 is uh, it's disregarding God. 10 is a, like a good God number, so we like that. Anyway, apart from symbolism, which is a massive um, talk in itself, which is covered well in other places, uh, that looks pretty solid to me, just from the ground up. So if they continue to build like that, and design for 10 airplanes to, to, to not bring it down, uh, then, 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 you know, just a bit of fuel, just a bit of fuel, even the dog knows it's something wrong. <laughs> you, think, you know you're in the right business when even dogs get it, you know. <laughs> okay. 
So, uh, yeah, um, and there was only two planes in the New York vicinity that caused any damage that day. Not three. Building seven fell down. Go away, there's going to be an explosion. This building's come down. The fireman, you know, yeah. So, hello, the government's lying to you about everything. The official story stinks to high heaven. 9 11 stinks to high heaven. William Cohen. Others are engaging. 1997, the US Defense Secretary at the time said, Weather warfare. He said, that's just a title, he didn't say that. He said this. Others are engaging even in an eco type of terrorism whereby they can alter the climate, set off earthquakes. If the president's on the phone, he Shut up! You kidding me? We're not supposed to talk about that. Set off earthquakes, volcanoes remotely through the use of electromagnetic waves. Sounds like harp. So there are plenty of ingenious minds out there that are at work finding ways in which they can wreak terror. Terror, 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 terror. Do you remember the, um, the, the, the New York mayor? He just came on and said, terror. Terror. And somebody made a video, mm. all with the same speaking heads, talking heads, saying, and it just went on for five minutes. Terror, 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 terror on the table. Terror. Oh, those weapons of mass destruction must be here somewhere. Well, no, 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 no. Now watch this drive. You know, it's, it's taking a mickey. So there are plenty of ingenious minds out there that are at work finding ways in which they can wreak terror upon other nations, it's real, and that's the reason why we have to intensify our efforts. Uh, to, from here on in, so there are plenty of engineers, is he talking about his bosses? Yeah. I think so. By the way, the, the secret societies love to tell you what they, they're going to do, it's called the Notice of Grace. Mm -hmm. That way they can say, well, we didn't tell you, we didn't complain, so we took that as consent. Yeah. Uh, no. No, 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 no. What rewind? Harp sends out electromagnetic pulses. I showed you some examples earlier, and you get this ribbing effect. Once the chemtrails in the sky, you've got plasma. And that is a bit like a shadow that the chap was saying earlier, Alan. So you've got electromagnetic uh, pulses into the ionosphere, and, and I explained that earlier. That's the Harp facility in Alaska, and. Apparently it's closed down now. Yeah. Any ideas where that might be? Wales. Wales. Exactly right. Carmarthenshire, Wales. Got one there. Lots of suicides in Wales, isn't it? Yeah. Might be a connection. Might be a connection. <laughs> and um, there he is again. And as I say, this is our, this is Mr. Portillo. Port Loo. Port Loo. There is a place called Port Loo. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Um, Harp in Minnesota. These are dangerous, terrible weapons. And I don't mean to trivialise it with my humour. Maybe I'm being vain, having a bit of a laugh, but I try and, it's a bit too much, but I do it a bit too much, but it, these are serious heavy weather weapons. <clears throat> so they're creating storms and... <laughs> if these guys, and they're guys, I can guarantee they're guys at the top, and who they are, if they're allowed to continue with this new world order agenda, and this is just a small phase of it, until we move on to the next one, we're being taught to obey, etc. now, authoritarian regime globally. If these guys are allowed to carry on and blacken our Earth, not theirs, then they will ultimately consume all life on this planet. That's all they can do. They're outdoing each other. And who can be the baddest guy, the most <coughs> evil person? How many more millions they can do? They brag about their bones. If they're allowed to continue, it's over for humanity. And a lot of greenies would say, well, you know, Look what they've done for the Earth. The, the, the enemy of humanity is humanity itself. 
That would fit the bill. Page 75, somebody asked me. The first global revolution. Page 75. So humans are the problem. And they've got all this stuff. And they're wasting and re bioengineering, re-engineering the planet. If they're allowed to continue, I can't stress enough, we must redouble our efforts at informing the public. It's not too late. All conditioning, all programming can be can be fixed, can be can be uh, uh, can be wiped very quickly, very quickly, days, weeks, and we're doing it. The more people hear common sense, the more people need to. I, I don't know what I'm doing here, really. I'm just hoping that people will learn to care again. That's what it's all about. And they, they can. They're very adapted species. <clears throat> and the University of Dundee is an excellent site where you can check out the heart kind of signatures going on in the sky there. That's not normal. These massive waves of ribbing. There's a few half examples. Another one there. And uh, this is one I took uh, on Catford Heath. I included it because it was showed extraordinary colours of the chemicals after big heavy spraying. Uh, and it's beginning to clear. And that's quite odd, it looks like an eye there, doesn't it? Can you see that? That's some Hollywood eye horror film. But it is a horror show, so locally we have to deal with people like Mr. Herr Simon Parkin of hairhurts.com or whatever. He talks about on his website, I'm reading tonight. Hello! And he really does. He's a classic example of how he talks to you like a child. Hello, everybody. He's like a children's <laughs> TV presenter. He's like he's like teddy bear presenter. Hello, everybody. Oh, the weather. Here we are then. Oh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> he really is. And that is it is proper programming. He talks to you like a child. Really good. Works. Bing, NLP. Bing. These guys are trained. Common purpose. Clouds that look like other things. There we are. Parky says that's a. Oh, let me get this. Anyone guess what that is? Oh. Meridian tonight, Pat. Oh, as this morning, Philip Scobiel thought he was going to see the War of the Worlds when a flying saucer appeared in the sky. Obviously, you're more likely to see some birds. <laughs> Though not necessarily the ones Gloria Moore.